Determine and state the area of triangle PQR, whose vertices have coordinates P negative 2 comma 5, negative 5, Q 3 comma 5, and R 6 comma 1. The use of the set of the axes below is optional. Uh, Any time that you can draw um, out a description to help you visualize, I would highly encourage you to use it. So I am going to approach it by drawing things out here. So P uh, is located at negative 2, negative 5. So that is located over here, negative 2, 2, 4, 5. So this is going to be P. And Q is 3, comma 5. So 3, comma 5 would be directly on the other side over here. And R is 6, comma 1. So 6, comma 1 is over here. And what we need to do is come up with the area of this triangle. So what I would encourage people to do, and this is going to be a, um, a way to, uh, to figure this out, is to not find the area of the triangle, but to find the areas of the surrounding triangles. Uh, but for this problem here, this is simple enough where you know, where we can also just apply the area of the triangle formula directly, but I'm going to approach it, you know, th um, this way because I find this to be a little more universal. Notice that the triangle in red and the other blue triangles, they form a rectangle. Well, that's because I'm trying to inscribe PQR inside of a rectangle, and the dimensions of the rectangle is uh, 4 by, let me see here, five, 4 by 8, right? So the overall area of the rectangle is 4 by 8 which is 32 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract out the areas of the um, blue triangles so the uh, blue triangle on the left I see it has a height of 4 and a base of 2, 4, 6, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 so it's going to be 1 half of 4 times 8 and I am also going to subtract this by one half of the other triangle on the right, the blue triangle on the right. I have uh, one half of the base is three, and the height is four. So if I go through this, this is going to be 32 minus one half of four times eight, so that would be 16, and then minus one half of three times four, so that's six. Uh, so this is going to be 32 minus 22, or the final area is going to be 10. Now, this is not the only way that you can do this. You can certainly find the area of the triangle directly, right? Knowing that this length right here is 5, and the height here is 4, right? The area of triangle PQR can also be found by 1 half base times height. Now the only thing is sometimes the base and the height may not may not necessarily be like easily determined. You know, it can certainly be determined uh, under any circumstances on a coordinate grid, but sometimes it may not necessarily be as obvious. But in this case it is, so at the end we end up with the same answer. They, they both equal to 10, which should be expected because, you know, what we're doing here, it doesn't matter what method, they should all arrive at the same conclusion.